Cheers. Okie die cast. Got another video for you. Went to Walmart the other day. And lo and behold, I've been wondering when these are going to show up in stores. Because the 2014 Neon Speeders, uh, I think it's a Walmart exclusive. This is released too. And it had three cars I collect in it. Sort of collect. Uh, the first being the Dodge Challenger Hellcat. And there it is. This is number six of eight. And if you don't know about this thing, I'll try to zoom in and show you the cars. There are the cars. Obviously, I'm interested in the 4 GT. Uh, the Dodge Challenger Hellcat. And one more than McLaren. I'd like to have the Porsche 911, but they didn't have that one. The 4 GT, I was lucky enough to find that one. And for this video, I wanted to go over the McLaren F1 GTR. This has been a favorite of mine casting for a very very long time and I never have gone fully all out and collected it uh, for reasons that we'll discuss here in a minute but I wanted to open this one and uh, well before I open it let's look at what I did have for a loose McLaren GTR. This came from a golf set many, many years ago. Can't seem to get this camera to focus, but there it is. Five spoke orange real rider rims. And then there's this one that's also a golf that was from a couple of years ago. Those are the only two I ever had loose. And then I had carded versions um, from a couple of years back. This was uh, 2021. The number three. I think this one was also from that same year. A different color. 2021 Retro Racers. Mainline release. This one kind of looks like it could have been a Zamac, But it's not a Zamac. It's got silver metal flake in it and then I had this from from way way back in 2015 2016 so I've had these on cards I've always kind of wanted to open them I think I'm ready to open them I think I'm ready to open them with this one that would give me a total of six with the two gulfs that'll give me a total of six McLaren F1 GTRs Let's do it. Let's open them. All right. All right. Let's look at these McLarens. Like I said, the first one that I ever come across was probably this one. It was a Golf version. It's a premium metal base, metal bottom. Pretty cool. McLaren GTR F1. Then I got a darker one in a golf livery. I really like this car. Not that big of a fan of the McLaren, the non-race version. But really do like the race version. Uh, I've always considered... Here's the 2015 main line. I've always considered starting to collect them. I was always just happy with the two golfs. Mainly because there's lots of these things. I think there's a total, but some of them are pretty pricey. This is a, this would be a hard casting to go back and collect just from the sheer cost of getting all of them. There were six speed machines, I think. I think it debuted in speed machines, maybe. And... So, right there, those are pretty pricey uh, versions or releases to get. Uh, it's had quite a bit in mainline. And then, a couple years back, there was the Hot Wheels ID one that didn't get uh, distributed very well. It was the last case of Hot Wheels ID. 
and that thing goes for triple digits uh, on the secondary market online. And then they released a treasure hunt on the NFT line, the NFT garage. And so the treasure hunts also command a triple digit, you know, anywhere from 100 to $500 on that treasure hunt. So it would be a really hard casting to collect uh, retroactively. So I've always just kind of not done it. But when this one came out, I thought, you know, I can get all the cheap ones. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get all the main, try to get all the main lines and cheap ones. If I find just a stellar deal, I can't walk away from on the more expensive ones. And maybe I might pick one of those off, but. There you go, that's the Neon Speeders. It's pink, it's black. It's got the racing number on it. It's got those crazy rims. It's kind of a matte black. Pretty cool, it's just really triangular. I just really like that car. Anyway, Neon Speeders McLaren GT. Uh, McLaren F1 GT. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you the next time. Thanks.